we are smack dab in the middle of baseball season. So I thought I would tell my story about being able to sing at Dodger Stadium. It was a pretty amazing highlight of my career because I've never sung to that many people at once before. So how did I get that gig? Well, um, actually I say it came from a super fan because actually there were some people at my church who recommended me to send in a tape. So you could only, I think it was actually a CD, sorry, not a tape, but I think you could only send in if you were recommended for this particular date. And I think it was, it was like church day or something. So it was like every kind of church, uh, they could all get tickets at a reduced price and they could all come to Dodger Stadium on this one day. And so we were able, I was able to send in a CD of me singing the national anthem a cappella, which I recorded it in my home studio. And so I don't know how many submissions they had, but obviously people from all different churches probably submitted, but it was only by invitation only. And I was pretty excited to find out that I was chosen. So I had no idea what to expect. I never sung in a place that large before. And it's pretty interesting because you have to deal with the echo when you're singing in somewhere like that. And you have to be completely mic'd up and have headphones on that block out all the sound. Otherwise it's way distracting because you hear the echo seriously three to five seconds after you sing. So it could really screw you up. So what you do is you, you go there and then they take you into this special area. And at Dodger Stadium, they have an organist that um, has been there forever and ever and ever. Um, and she plays the organ throughout the game, you know, instead of all that canned music, we, they have a real organist, which is fun. And I got to go into the room with that organist. They mic'd me all up. They gave me the special headphones, all that. And I stood next to her, but yet I was listening to what she was playing in my headphones so I could get used to that sound and I practiced. And that was really cool. And then they led me down and I just stood there waiting until it was time to go out there. So I was standing kind of outside the gate to walk onto the field. That was probably the most nerve wracking part was just standing there waiting for like 15 minutes to be able to go and sing in front of all of those people and looking around and seeing, oh my gosh, there's 60,000 people in the stadium and I'm gonna sing in front of them. What if my voice cracks? All that stuff, right? We all go through that. It doesn't matter how seasoned a musician you are. If you're gonna sing for that many people, that goes through your head. So um, they led me out there probably like two minutes before I was actually gonna sing. They got me all situated. I had my mic, all that stuff. And then I heard them announce it, you know? Luckily, I did not look and see myself on the Jumbotron because that would have also stressed me out. So I tried not to look in that direction. Um, and I just, you know, it's that first note, right? That first note, it needs to come out of your mouth before you can start to feel at ease. At least that's how I am. And so once that first note came out, oh, say, you know, and I, I suddenly, I just felt, you know, really confident. I didn't even have to sing it acapella. Oh, I love, although I love singing it acapella, but I sang with the organist, so could never get off key or anything. Um, they're very big at Dodger Stadium about not letting you go like off the rails. You can't like do all these ah or anything like that. You can't slow it down. You have to stay because they want the people in the stands to be able to sing along. So it's pretty regimented, but I was able to do just a few different things with the way I sang it to make it interesting and change up um, a few of the notes, but I had to sing along with the organ. So just sang along with the organ. Uh, it was amazing to hear all the applause and everything. And then, you know, once I got back to my seat and was able to hang out with my family, um, they're like, yep, yeah, we saw you on the Jumbotron. We took a picture and I was glad I didn't even look because that would have stressed me out. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, I got to bring my, I think my daughter was three or four, maybe four at the time. Um, and, you know, so then we just got to enjoy the game and they, the Dodgers killed it. I think they won like 13 to three or something like that. Um, so felt like maybe I gave them a little good luck that day.